question? Please read. All right, so if you have read and understood, considering it history taking station, kindly please begin. Hello, good evening. Uh, I'm Dr. Hussain, one of the exam candidates. May I confirm your name, age, please? My name is John, I'm first years old. Good. Very nice to meet you, John. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions regarding your health. So is it okay? Yes. And are you comfortable right now? Yes, yes. Okay, so can you please tell me uh, how may I help you today? Uh, yes, I have this uh, chest chest pain and I feel like I have shortness of breath sometimes. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I can understand it's very must be very difficult for you, but I'm reassure you that uh, you are now in safe hands. So, before going further, can you please elaborate a little bit more? When did you first notice this? Uh, I have uh, this, uh, this pain, maybe it's from four weeks, maybe. Okay, and did it start suddenly or gradually? No, it started gradually. Okay. Can you please describe pain for me? Uh, either it is a crepping or a stabbing, what kind of Pain is there? It's it's like a, a discomfort more than of pain, you know. Okay, it's like okay, something heavy. It's like something heavy on my chest. Okay, and does this go anywhere else, like at your back or in your tummy? Uh, sometimes I feel it in my left shoulder. Okay, and. Uh, is it uh, increased with something or? Uh, is it uh, decreasing by taking something? I think it's increasing with the exertion. And how it decreases? When I walk for long distance, yes, I get this pain. Okay, and does it associate with any fever? No. And you mentioned that you have uh, also shortness of breath as well, right? Yes. So, how it is, uh, it is increasing with the passage of time or it is decreasing? What? Either it is increasing shortness of breath or yes, it's yes, yes, than it's increasing. Before. Yes, it's increasing. Okay, and how would you like to rate the pen from a scale of 0 to 10? 10 is the worst pen. Uh, it's like 8. Sorry to hear that. And uh, do you get uh, shortness of breath when you're lying flat? Yes. And uh, do you use any pillows? Yes, I use three now. How many pillows? Can you please tell me? Three. Three. Okay. And uh, have you ever noticed that you wake up at the middle of the night? Uh, no. Okay. And uh, do you have uh, any cough or uh, any blood in the cough? No, I didn't notice. And do you feel that uh, when you are going to press your chest, you feel pain? No. And do you have any uh, leg swelling or any? No, I don't. Of your legs? No? No. And is there any history of a trauma recently? No, I don't know. And have you noticed any unintentional weight loss? Uh, no. 
prepared and uh, are you suffering from any medical condition or do you visit for uh, to the gp for any condition no i don't and have you gone through any surgery before no i don't don't have right and if you don't mind can i ask you a few personal question yes of course yes thank you uh, what do you do for the living i'm uh, retired now but i used to be a teacher okay great and do you smoke yes how many cigarette in a day uh two packs since how long you are using maybe 20 years Okay. And have you decided to quit smoking? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. And do you drink alcohol? Occasionally. Okay. And uh, is there any other family members or close relatives does have the same problem? What's the problem exactly? What do you mean? Like uh, chest pain or shortness of breath. Yes, yes. My father had uh, a problem with chest pain. I'm so sorry to hear that. How it is he doing now? I know he passed away because of. Uh, oh, heart I'm so heart. sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, so what do you think? What could be the cause of this condition? I'm afraid that it would be the same thing as my father. Okay, I can understand your apprehension. And uh, for you are most concerned about the pain or shortness of breath. Actually, the short the short is of breath because uh, I can do anything with it. Okay, and uh, what do you expect from us? To get a, a cure for my condition. Good. Okay. Then, okay. Thank can you, you so please summarize your Thank history you. now? Yes, a uh, five-year-old lady. She is having a chest pain for last uh, uh, six weeks, and uh, the chest pain is uh, increasing with the severity. And it is uh, six out of ten on the severity scale. It was not associated with the weight loss or uh, any uh, fever. So, according to the history, my top differential diagnosis uh, it could be the uh, pulmonary embolism. Uh, okay. It could be the infection like a pneumonia and uh, it could be the uh, infection like uh, a basal electrolysis or uh, I, either I cannot rule out the myocardial infarction as well. All right. What investigations would you ask for in order to manage? Uh, yes, the initially, I would like to ask for the chest X-ray, uh, electrocardiogram ECG uh, and uh, VQ mismatch uh, and... Uh, also, I would like for the ABGs and uh, duplex ultrasound of the lower limb. And uh, if I'm suspecting the pulmonary embolism, so I also need to go for the CT pulmonary angiogram. Very good. What are the treatment or alter uh, alternatives that you can offer to the patient? Yes, if a patient is having a pulmonary embolism, so it depends upon the uh, uh, either it's a, a mild, moderate or severe. Uh, you can say that either it's uh, massive or not. So I will uh, manage this patient according to the CRISP protocol. Yes. And I will uh, reassure that patient the airways intake. Then I will manage the breathing, then control uh, the circulation, and then uh, disability, and then uh, all these things. So if it is uh, uh, non-massive, so I can start the uh, IV uh, low molecular weight heparin. Yes. And uh, if it is uh, massive, so I have go. I have to go for the thrombolysis or uh, embolectomy uh, to manage the patient. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. It was very good. Just few points for the sake of differential diagnosis that you could have asked. Uh, you've covered almost everything. Just one that I could come across was the character. You could have asked okay. about the how would you describe your pain, what type of chest pain that is, and a history of cough. If patient was has or has or have had cough, okay. any okay. cough or anything associating uh, with it, or if there is just simple cough or cough with the sputum or cough with the blood or anything. 
with that. Okay. Okay. Just this. All the rest you've asked and you've uh, it was very good. You've covered everything within the given time. So that's excellent. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Right.